Business Facts Part 5, Black History Edition. Barry Gordon Jr. was born November 28, 1929 in Detroit, Michigan. He is an African-American record executive and producer, best known as the founder of Motown Records Corporation. Right before Motown, Gordy dropped out of Northeastern High School in Detroit, Michigan and pursued a featherweight boxing career. He boxed right before joining the U.S. Army. He joined from 1951 to 1953. When his contract ended, he returned to Detroit to open a record store and began producing recordings out of his own compositions. Gordy started Motown in 1959, building it into a legendary label that played a pivotal role in shaping the sound of popular music. He launched the careers of iconic artists like Stevie Wonder, Diana Ross, The Supremes, and The Jackson 5. Gordy's innovative approach to music production, business, and artist development earned him the nickname The Chairman. True to his vision, Barry invested considerable time and thought into polishing Motown's performers. The artist development department taught them how to sit, stand, and speak with elegance and act with refinement no matter the setting. Their performance uniforms and choreography were the envy of the street corner singers and competing vocal groups everywhere. In the 1970s, Barry Gordon Jr. moved Motown to Hollywood and started producing films, including Lady Sings the Blues in 1972, featuring Diana Ross and her film debut as Billie Holiday. By the mid-1980s, the company boasted annual revenues in excess of $100 million, and Motown acts had recorded more than 50 number one hits on the Billboard Pop Singles chart. Gordy sold the record company in 1988. He later wrote the book for Motown, The Musical, which premiered on Broadway in 2013 and debuted in London's West End in 2016. His impact on the music industry and racial integration in the arts is widely recognized, making him a key figure in the history of American popular music. And here's a quote from Barry Gordy Jr. Whenever I came up against presidents of other companies, I was always smarter because I was from the streets.